It's two after six. The state will begin reopening on Friday, at least partially, but expect to see tighter restrictions here in the city. New Orleans held a press conference yesterday, I believe the mayor did, to talk about some of the data driving the guidelines for reopening here in the city. Megan Key is joining us live on Carrollton Avenue with what you need to know this morning about the reopening. It is good that some things will start reopening, but the uh, restrictions here are a bit tighter than elsewhere. Yes, you're right, Eric. There's a number of businesses that will begin reopening uh, for the state of Louisiana, but we know that here in New Orleans, that all won't happen until a day later on Saturday. That's when the city will begin transitioning to phase one, the first stage of reopening. But of course, there are restrictions and you should be looking at a list of businesses that will be affected. That includes hair salons, barber shops, um, as well as other places as well. Now we do know when those businesses are allowed to reopen, they will have to adhere to strict social distancing and sanitation protocols and also limit business to a 25% occupancy. In New Orleans, the mayor says to expect tighter restrictions here than in the rest of the state. New Orleans city leaders have already said so-called super spreader events will not be allowed during phase one of reopening. That includes large weddings, parties and sports competitions. The city will continue its testing efforts as well as contact tracing to limit the spread of the coronavirus. The mayor will also unveil more about the city's specific plan later today. We will continue to work with the governor's office on this, no doubt about it. Uh, the city guidelines for phase one uh, in some instances um, will be more restrictive. We can prepare for that. Now, we should learn more about the city's plan to reopen later on today. That's a press conference that's happening later this afternoon. Reporting live in Carrollton, Megan Key, Eyewitness News. All right, Megan, thank you very much. We should hear from the leaders of Orleans, Jefferson, and St. Tammany parishes today. You can uh, get updates on their plans to reopen their uh, businesses, uh, businesses in their parishes on our app and, of course, our website. Here in New Orleans, officials are dropping that controversial plan to require businesses to keep logs of their customers once they reopen. Business owners raised a lot of concerns about the plan after Mayor LaToya Cantrell first hinted that she was considering making that a requirement. At a news conference yesterday, the mayor's, uh, the mayor's city health director says that the burden of tracing who an infected person had been in contact with all falls largely on the infected person and health professionals, not businesses. And reopening the economy will be the focus of a hearing today on Capitol Hill. A Senate committee will meet this morning at 9 to hear from three top federal health officials. Um, this is, we're going to show you a live picture of the U.S. Capitol building where that hearing will take place. All right, we don't have that, but here's infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci. CDC Director Robert Redfield and FDA Commissioner Dr. Stephen Hahn are all expected to testify. All three are self-quarantining after two people in the White House tested positive for the virus. Because they're self-quarantining, they will appear remotely. The New York Times is reporting that Dr. Fauci will issue a warning to states that prematurely reopening their economies will cause, quote, needless suffering and deaths. In St. John Parish later today, there will be a food giveaway. It's taking place at the St. John Theater on West 4th Street in Reserve starting at 1 o'clock. If you're going, you're asked to place a clothes basket or some type of box inside of your trunk so volunteers can put your food donation inside.